where I was going with this is this thing called weight underside. You know, when I first started doing my keto, we talked about structure, posture, gravity, or weight underside, they call it. What the hell are they talking about? And then I've trained now with a few different other martial arts, and they actually use a thing called weight underside. So if I get Mark to just put his hand out and go strong, yeah, then I try and use force, I've got to burn up a lot of energy. But when he's got his arm out here, and I just put weight underside, I'm using gravity, I'm letting gravity do the job. And that's something we, we don't really explore properly, I suppose, in my kid. We're too busy trying to do all the technique instead of these little components within it. And everything I'm doing is to improve my structure and feel and disrupt his posture and uh, feel. So just go for a punch. And I should probably change sides from there. I don't know if you want me to throw a punch over. Oh, what would you throw? Yep, good. Okay. So, this is what we want. And I've talked in previous seminars about appreciating the attack. If I'm going to deal with a punch, it's no, it's no good being worried about the punch. It's no good getting up, uh, afraid of the punch. I need to appreciate it. For, so, for me, especially with weapons training, because I need to appreciate he's going to attack me. So he wants to attack me. Oh, I'm going to come and see that thing. I'm going to join it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to appreciate it. He's got a really good punch, and that's what I want. But now I want to use gravity to either stall him or disrupt him. So when the punch is coming in, what I could do is this sort of thing here. Okay? What I'm doing there, disrupting the skeletal structure and dropping weight at the same time. What does it feel like? That bit. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to explain too. In my 20s, 30s, I would have used a lot of brutal force, and I would have been going health for to cause damage. Now, what I want to do is I want to appreciate the punch, and I actually want to invite this punch just that little bit more, if I can. Just that. Oh, that's a nice punch. Just have a bit more. The next thing I wish to do, because we're looking at Ikkyo, is I'm causing the the rotation through my body, through my feet. There's a rotational gluing, rather than grabbing. I'm gluing to this person. Okay, and at the same time, we just got So what I want to do is disrupt his body, body structure. I don't want him to, to stay strong. I want him to have an invitation to change. So when he throws the punch in, here is this rotational lower half of my body, which is grounded in structure, inviting this person through. And then again, if I drop straight into his feet, he's actually quite strong. So I want to drop just in front of him. I want to go... Okay. This is where he wants to fall over. And we often talk about the triangle as well. Unstable point. Oh! But what does the unstable point do? It makes the person go into his toes. He's, uh, he's off balance. Right? Once the head, the brain gets into the off balance, it goes into panic mode. It goes into ah, uh, freak mode. So, the more I leave him on posture, the more he can become reactionary, can carry on. Bam, yeah, bam, bam, bam. bam. The more I can invite him off posture, the harder it is for him then to keep loading into the next thing because he's already off structure. Mm. And I trained a long time back with a karate guy who said, what are you doing to me? He said, I'm just taking your structure. I'm just disrupting your structure enough to stop you from hitting me. <laughs> and that's all I want here. So it's an invitation. For me, I've got always oh, got a good punch and I'm inviting. I'm actually inviting it in so I'm not panicked or tense. And then it's the lower half. It's my lower half. It takes them down. Yeah, interesting film. Yeah, I've oh, that before. Yeah. So, this is a, um, as I say, on the mat, this is learning, exploring. So, if you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, well, that wasn't quite so good. Either. So, let's try that again. Oh, ah, listen. But this is what we're here for. It's our failures that help us improve. Now, of course, now we can go. Let's, just, let's make this sort of happen. So, I'm just reading a book called uh, Jiu Jitsu and the Healing of Trauma. Really interesting book. And what they're saying is you do techniques at half speed or slower so you can learn all the stages and get all the things that you can find and play with. If you do everything fast, you miss a lot of stuff. So, you still want a, a proper sort of punch. You still want a proper good structured punch. You don't want to. Yeah. So we've got a good focus point. Now, of course, what we're doing is trying to match. And Aikido, we talk about matching the attacker's speed. All right? So it's no good going, oh, here he comes. 
<laughs> oh, hang on, try again. <laughs> you know, I'm too hesitant. I'm, I'm ahead of the game. The other guy has to go, come on, yeah. Here it is. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. Yeah, bam. So, for learning, what we're doing is we're watching his time. Okay? He, the UK is governing the speed. And all I wish to do is mirror that speed. And get my body mass to Does that make sense? Yeah.